Welcome or welcome back to the college to our students, staff and visitors. You'll be very aware of the difficult times we are operating in and the challenges of reopening any business, including the college campuses pose. We are keen that staff, students and visitors have access to the college facilities and also that you fully understand the measures we have taken to keep you safe and to understand the part you play in this. This video is to instruct you on the guidance the college is following to operate safely, the measures the college has taken to reduce the risk of transmission of the COVID-19 virus, and the role you have to play in ensuring the campuses remain as safe as possible. The college is following guidance issued by the Department for Education and the Cumbrian Director of Public Health. They both advise that the risks to individuals in an education setting are minimal, as long as the correct measures are implemented. This starts with a thorough cross-college risk assessment, highlighting the specific measures which must be in place and are adhered to. This has been carried out by the college in consultation with staff and trade unions. I can confirm that all of these measures are now in place. In addition, high risk tasks, spaces and individuals have received dedicated risk assessments and measures have been implemented. Guidance is always subject to change and if the college changes its requirements, you'll be notified by your manager, tutor or college contact. The college has put measures in place to ensure that individuals can move safely around the campuses, adhering to social distancing rules, and that learning and working spaces have been configured to comply with social distancing measures. The college has adopted the one metre plus rule, which means you must stay at least one metre apart from others when it is not possible or practical to stay at a distance of two metres. If you're working in or visiting a specific area of the campus, you'll receive a full induction on the day you arrive or return, which will make you familiar with the site and explain what social distancing measures and safe working practices are in place. On arriving at one of the campuses, you should come to the main reception entrance. Do not enter, but wait for one of the college staff to direct you you will be required to pass through a temperature sensor to ensure you are not displaying signs of a fever. This is nothing to worry about and should the sensor detect a higher than usual temperature, you'll be directed to the reception desk to discuss this further. For example, there may be an explanation such as that you, you have cycled to college. Study the layout map you will be given because designated entry and exit doors physical barriers and floor markings and various one-way way directional flow through corridors and stairwells have been introduced. This is for your safety and well-being. Routes around the college may have changed from the ones you are used to and it's important that you follow the new way markings. Do not be tempted to take shortcuts. It may seem unnecessary to walk extra distances when you believe the way is clear, but it increases the risk to yourself and to others. Remember, if the fire alarm sounds, always leave the building by your nearest exit. The directional flows don't apply in an emergency evacuation. You must keep social distancing when at college. This includes sitting at desks that are at least one metre apart, following the one metre plus rule whilst walking around the college, adhering to the keep left rule when walking. There can only be one person in a lift at any time and lifts are prioritised for those with mobility issues. You may only visit the toilet one after the other. You must have staggered start and break times and it's important not to gather with friends and colleagues in close social gatherings and to remain at least one metre apart at all times. You must also make sure that you regularly wash your hands throughout the day as this is the best way to stop the spread of the virus. Use the soap provided and use warm water ensuring you wash the front and back of your hands and your fingers and nails. This should be for a minimum of 20 seconds, often referred to as the time it takes to sing happy birthday twice. Hand sanitising stations are also available throughout the sites. If you need to use public transport to get to college, that's fine, but be sure to wear a face covering as per government requirements. Try to avoid getting a lift in someone else's car as it is difficult to maintain the one metre plus rule in a car. If you do need to share a car, we advise the use of a face covering as you would on public transport. This excludes travelling with members of your own household. If you do not want to use public transport, 
the government advice is to consider coming to college on your bike or to walk. You might look at arrangements to get dropped off by parents or family members. In line with recent government guidance, the college now requires all students, staff and visitors to wear face coverings in certain areas of the college. This includes on entering the campuses, in all communal areas and whilst walking around any college building. Teaching and learning areas have been arranged to enable social distancing and, as such, face coverings are not normally required. You will also need to wear a face covering in the food service areas unless you are eating or drinking. You will be required to provide your own suitable face covering as you do when shopping or travelling on public transport. The library and student union areas are open but will have limited capacity to ensure the maintenance of the one metre plus rule. Cafe, cafes and canteens are open but again have a more limited capacity and your tutor or college contact will instruct you when you should visit to avoid large queues. There are a limited number of water dispensers around the campus and these are cleaned regularly. A small number of vending machines are still available and subject to extra cleaning. Alternatively, bring any lunch, drinks or snacks with you that you'll need when on site. All staff on site will be reinforcing the rules around the site. You'll be politely reminded to maintain at least one metre social distancing and if you persistently ignore the guidance and the rules that we have put in place then you will be subject to disciplinary procedures and in the worst case be asked to leave the site for your safety and the safety of others. It will not be possible for you to be with all members of your group or team due to government guidance on social distancing. The college has been mapped out to enable social distancing in all areas. Each workshop, classroom, workroom and building will have a maximum number of students, staff and visitors allowed to ensure you have a safe working area and that you can maintain at least one metre social distancing whilst completing your work. Your tutor, line manager or college contact will ensure this is maintained for the safety of everyone. Some communal areas may be closed altogether. If you feel unwell and have COVID-19 symptoms, you must not attend college. If you start developing symptoms whilst on site, you should let your tutor, line manager or college contact know. Go home immediately and self-isolate in line with government guidelines. And finally, welfare and pastoral support is still available on site and via the helpline should you need additional support. The college takes the safety of all its students, staff and visitors very seriously and you have a crucial role to support us to keep you safe. I look forward to seeing you around the college.